What's your secret, baby? Get in here, get in here, get in here, honey, all right? I asked the question the other day on IG. I said to y'all, I said, I said, go on ahead and write it and let me know what's a big secret that you would never, ever, ever want to share with your partner. And baby, when I tell you, y'all told me some stuff, honey. I said I was going to respond on IG, but I said I might as well go ahead and do this on here. So here's how this works, okay? I'm going to read off the secrets that y'all wrote in here. I won't give your name, baby, okay? I promise I won't tell nobody your name. But I got to go through this, baby, because there's some juicy shit in here, all right? And let me tell you how we're going to do this, okay? Here's why I want y'all to get in here, get in here, get in here. Because here's what I know to be true. Secrets have power over us when we start to feel ashamed of them, right? We feel so ashamed of them and then they end up having power over us but here's reality secrets have no power over you when you recognize that your secrets often are things that other people may be going through too and at the very least sometimes your secret ain't as bad as somebody else's secret so get in here get in here get in here Ooh, best friends honey should i just jump in oh my goodness next week when i do this again because i will do it again i'll let you all know so that you all can um Put y'all up here. Let me go to a good one. Okay, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. This is a good one right here. What she said here. Oh, Lord. This one right here. She said, and I'm not going to give her name, but she's a pretty girl. She says here. She says, I'm really attracted to his father. Can you imagine that? Y'all, listen. Can you imagine that? I feel torture for her. I feel bad for her, not for him at this moment. Because I'm like, you really want the dad? And every time you got to be around him, you get look at this man. What if that man wants you too? Oh, my Lord. What's the next one? What's the next one? Comment in here, honey. Don't tell me y'all secrets. I don't, I don't, don't be writing y'all secrets on here. All right, let's see here. Unless you want to. Okay, let's see here. Oh, this one. This is an easy one. She says she still has her alone time. Y'all get what I'm saying? Girl, bye. You grown. Ain't, that's not a secret. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. She said, for our entire two-year relationship. Listen to this, y'all. Listen to this. For our entire two-year relationship, I was having sex with his best friend. I'm not here to judge nobody. I'm not here to judge nobody. So I'm not going to ask for your secrets and then judge you. But I will say this. For the entire two-year relationship, you wasn't just cheating on him. You was having sex with his best friend. Yeah, I got this idea from Jasmine Sullivan. Exactly. Y'all loved it when she did. I was like, I want to do this with y'all, honey. Ain't nothing new under the sun. So anyway, his best friend. Girl, let me tell you this, okay? There are certain things you don't tell nobody but God, okay? And MJ, of course. Girl, take that to your grave. Don't never tell nobody, okay? And he need a new best friend. All right. Oh, there's another one. There's another secret. She says, period. She says, this is what I would tell my partner. I hate fucking you. She don't like having sex with him. Oh, my God. Thank y'all for buying me badges. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Janelle Giante. I see y'all buy me badges. Oh, Lord. A lot of these have, you know what I've noticed with these? A lot of the theme of these is that y'all don't like sex with your man. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. All right. She said, I got one, two, three, four of these that say the same thing, basically. I've had sex with better in bed, right? Basically, what I'm seeing as a theme in these is that a lot of y'all don't enjoy sex with your man. And or you don't accept, you don't enjoy sex for the specific reason y'all called out. Because he ain't built right. He ain't built right for you. And I don't know if that means that you have a wide set cool china. Because some of y'all be blaming these men. And they are built right. You just got a wide set cool china. Okay? Okay? You just, you, you've you been stretched out. You need to get your stuff re redone. Okay? They can do that. Um, but some of these men, apparently, because she said, I don't like his. And that's why I don't like having sex with him. And she put a picture of a shrimp. Like the shrimp emoji on there. She put a shrimp on there. Okay? Here's another one. Oh, this one's fun. She said, I had a train ran on me. She's, but she said, protected. Okay, that just sounds like a nice Saturday night for you. I love that. Wow. Here's hers. Listen to this one. This is the next one. He's actually my side piece. Yikes. Oh, my God. Here's another one on the other side. She said, that sex with him ruined my life. Basically, it was so good, she can't be with nobody else after. Have y'all ever been through that before? Oh, my Lord. That She said that the sex with him was so good, it ruined her life. Ruined her life. She can't be with nobody else. Let's see here. 
Oh, Lord, this. She told me her husband's secret. She says, my husband's secret is that our entire marriage, he was having sex with prostitutes. And you knew about it. Did you let it happen? Were y'all okay with this? You didn't say nothing about it? You just let it happen? Girl. But no, I told y'all before, I had a girlfriend. When she used to do that with her man, where she would, because he wanted to be with other women, listen to this, he wanted to be with other women. So what she would do was she would go to the, to, you know, the workers and pay them and pick that way. Because her logic was if she, if she don't participate, he going to do it anyway, which I'm like, I wouldn't be with somebody who would do that anyway, but regardless. And she's like, we can make it fun and pick them out together. Hmm. Let me say this, okay? What's another one? She said, one thing my man will never find out is about my money stash. Can we talk about she money? Every last one of y'all should have some she money. And by she money, what I mean is money that's off to the side that your man either don't know about or if you know about it, he can't touch. Period. Period. Okay? You need to have a stash. And he, he can know about it, but he can't touch it. And he need to have his stash that your ass can't touch neither. I, I totally, that's, that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. I call it she money. Oh, my Lord. Let's see here. Damn, I feel bad for her. Her secret is I'm broke. My father drinks too much and my father and my mother did the same. Mm. Let me see here. Oh, Lord. Here's another one. She's madly in love with her friends with benefits. That's a crucial mistake. Once you start falling in love for your DOD, move on. Let's see here. This one says she likes to watch porn, basically, and um, take care of her needs afterwards. I've seen that a couple of times that this is y'all's biggest secret. Oh, that you don't tell your man. I get it. Okay. That, that y'all take care of your own needs. Comment below. Should that be a secret? Should that be a secret? That you all, that you mess, that you take care of yourself? Somebody got a question for me. Is MJ single. So let me fill you in, baby doll. Okay. I always claim singlehood until I'm married. This is my right hand. The camera flips. So this is not my wedding hand. The camera flips it. But until I'm married, I'm telling y'all I'm single. Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been single all these years on camera, except for that one little time. Yeah, been single. 13 years on camera, single the whole time. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. You believe that? Go with that. Mm hmm. Yeah, my logic is this even in getting in a relationship, I'm not, mm -mm. I'm not sharing that shit with nobody. Mm -mm. Until we marry and I got to share it because it's, cause it's been public knowledge. I ain't sharing nothing. I ain't telling nobody nothing. Uh-uh. Oh, this is one here. She's like, she has schizophrenia. That's something she's not told her man. She has not told her man that she has schizophrenia. Comment below what you think about that. Let me see here. She said, I always have wet dreams involving his brother. His brother. I didn't know that, that women could do that. I didn't know that women could do that physiologically. You learn something new every day. Huh. Here's another one. She says, I hate the way that he treats me in front of people. Then leave his ass. Well, here's my thing. Treat him the same way back. Okay? But, and then leave his ass. If he come out the side of his neck, you need to get him together real good one day. Okay, that's what I'm saying. And do whatever safe is for you. But he come out his neck talking to you kind of crazy in front of some family and friends, and you talk right crazy back. He be like da da da, and he be like and 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 what? And you gonna do what? Do it right there in front of people. Make sure you got some backup. Okay, the fuck? I'm not letting nobody. No, mm -mm. no sir. Um, let's see here. Wow, poor baby. Here, I'm not gonna read that one out loud. Let's see here. I love my husband, but I'm not in love with him anymore. Damn. Let's see here. This is her. She said, I have a cash fund in the garage. In her garage, she got the cash sitting, hiding in the garage. Ooh! <laughs> I will read this. Y'all, tell me if this is true. Hold on. Tell me if this is true. No, y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. I'm going to tell you. I'm talking to y'all on here. Okay, y'all tell me is this true? Okay, she said, "Now, girl, you know I'm not gonna say your name, but I gotta read this." She said, 
Heat, ate Thanani in the beginning of her period and didn't know. And she says, I think that's why he's addicted to me. So I guess when they first got together, he ate the Nani, right? He ate the Nani. Mm-hmm. She was starting on her cycle. He didn't know. Whew. And she said, that's why he's addicted to her. I've heard that. I've heard that before. That don't do this. Please don't ever do this, okay? But I've heard that some women put their um, juices in certain things, so he has to ingest it. I'm not saying do that. I'm not saying do that. I'm not saying do that. But I've heard that it works. Okay? Have you ever heard of it? Yeah, I saw this from Jasmine Sullivan. I was like, oh, this be so fun to do. Ain't nothing new under the sun, baby. Giving advice on camera ain't new under the sun. Talking about secrets ain't new under the sun, baby. People choose to do it when you choose to do it. Oh, damn. She said, she says, I have never had an orgasm with him and we've been married for 10 years. 10 years. Could you do that? Let me see here. I'm just having fun reading these, okay? If I do this, when I do this in the future, maybe we'll give it more of a format. But for right now, y'all good with me just reading these off? Y'all need something different? Okay, I'm good with this too. All right? Wow. Oh, this brother here, and he fine, girl. I'm going to need to introduce him to one of y'all. Girl, he fine. He says he's still a virgin and he's only done oral. So, they, see, if you look at him, you see this fine brother, you're like, oh, damn, he must be a fuckboy. Nope. Mm-mm. Not at all. Let me see here. Let me see here. Oh, my God. <gasps> For their entire relationship, her BFF, her female best friend, was sending him nudes. Question. Question. What would you do if you found out that your female friend or your male friend, it don't matter who it is, was sending your boo-boo nudes? Now, first of all, I'm not just going to be mad at the friend. I'm going to be mad at the boo, too, because, A, why didn't the boo tell you? And if the, if the person was sending him, then how was he responding? What was he sending back? Was he soliciting them? Was he putting hearts on them? What? Why? Why? Let me see here. Let me see here. Marco. Yeah. Oh, okay. How was it? You did boxing? Yeah, it was good. Okay. You know they can see you in the reflection. Huh? They can see you in that reflection. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me see here. Um... Oh, she says, I hate how he promises to do something and it makes me wait. I hate waiting. Mark, I'm, I'm reading off the secrets. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm still in love with my ex and he'll always have a place in my heart. Mm, poor baby. Oh, here's another one. Her favorite cousin. Sends him nasty text messages. Wow. Here's something she won't tell her spouse. She says, my best friend who is a male is madly in love with me. Oh, my Lord. No, she said, I look a little pale. Where's my summer foundation? It's just the wrong light, baby. It's just the wrong light. It's just the wrong light. That's all that is. I do need a summer tone, but I'm, I don't want to get the color matching done because they got to get too close to me. And doing Rona Tona, I need them to stay the fuck away from me. Okay? Let's see here. Oh, damn. She used to date his brother. Would you tell a man if you used to date his brother? Like, it just was a little fling thing a while ago. Nothing big happened. It was a roll around. Child, let me tell you this, okay? Let me tell you this, okay? I had a friend get mad at me about that before, right? Because we weren't even that close. We were not even that close. This was years ago, back in my DC days, right? We hung out once or twice. Friend is a stretch, acquaintance. He had dated this guy years and years and years prior. 
fast forward years and years and years and years and years and years and years, the person we dated years prior, at some, I'm sure he's dated multiple people. I don't know. I see the guy out. I was a young thing. We had a good time. We were drinking our Casamigos. That's back when I used to drink. And then we decided to go, you know, back to his place. It happened. It was some trash. Straight up trash. No shade. It was some trash. Okay? It was some trash. You remember on Color Purple when Miss Seeley um, was, was with, was with um, the man at the beginning of the movie and she was just laying there? He just laying on top of her, doing his business on top of her? That's how I felt. It was trash. Okay? So it never happened again. Fast forward years later, I guess they tried to rekindle their romance and then it didn't work out and they get into a big argument. And what this bitch ass do do do, do he then say, and that's why I had sex with your old friend so-and-so. First of all, we wasn't even friends back then. We weren't even that damn close. Second of all, it had been years between the years between when we was friends and when this dude happened. I didn't even know they was that tight like that. Child, this one called me up mad at me, talking about some, you a bad person. I trusted you, baby. We wasn't even that close. And from what I heard, you be in these streets like I was in the streets. So you been, right? Child. Mm -mm. Child. Let me see here. Oh, this is another one. She says, I would never tell my husband that I have never really enjoyed his cooking. Baby, I could. Ooh, honey. Two things I don't want to ever deal with, okay? A man who can't cook but think he can cook and be, always want to cook. Here's another thing I would never want to deal with, y'all. A man who think he can sing or something like that. Sing, rap, something, whatever it may be. And he always want to do it. And we be like having family gatherings and birthdays. And he be like, I want to sing. Or we be out and about. And he be singing in public in front of people. And he sound like some trash. Bitch, I would never want to fucking do that. All right? I would never want to deal with that. Ever. Can you imagine? That's why if a man ever tell you that he can sing or that he can cook, ask him to do it for you. Because if it's some fucking trash... Girl, don't date him. Because how are you going to tell him that he can't sing? How are you going to tell that man he can't cook? Well, how are you going to tell him that? What you going to say? Huh? Nah, baby, I'm going to cook tonight. But I thought you liked my cooking. That's why you can't be lying to him. Yeah, baby, I love your cooking. It's so amazing. It's so good. No. I'll be trying to tell y'all, just because you were with a man and you just started with him, don't be lying to him about stuff. And especially not with the singing. He'd be like, yeah, I can sing, baby. I went through that one time before, honey. I got a story about it. Okay, now, you got to understand, I come from a background where I've been with many different types of men, and at a certain point in time, I loved artists. I was, I've dated multiple men who were music artists or, like, musicians of some type or whatever. It was just dated. Nothing too special, right? Multiple men. Multiple women. Some of them were extremely talented. Some of them were not. All right? Listen. So, we sitting here... And I was at a group of my friends. We're at like, one of my friends had like a little barbecue thing on his back patio, right? And I brought my new boo with me. So we're there and then we're, everyone's talking about what their passions are. And he's like, he's like, oh, well, you know, I'm passionate about singing. Bitch, I didn't know he was passionate about singing. I didn't know that. We'd just been hanging out for a couple weeks, right? He says, I'm passionate about singing. I was like, I'm sitting there like, wow. And so of course my friends, drunk, talking about, Sing. Oh, yes. Sing. Wow. Go ahead and sing for us. Sing for us. Wow. Sing for us. I'm sitting up here frozen as a motherfucker because I don't know what he going to do. Bitch, I don't know what the fuck he going to do. Hey, Theo. I don't know what he going to do. He gets to sing. He's like, could y'all turn the music down? I want to sing this song I wrote. Child, now he's singing original music, which you know this could be extra good or extra trash. Okay, honey? He want to do an original song now. I was like, fuck. Right? And then so I'm just thinking to myself, listening to the tone of how his speaking voice sound, he don't sound like he can sing. You know how, how women who can sing, sometimes they have a husky voice or men who can sing, they've got a certain kind of way they talk. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, he don't sound like he can sing, but I was like, okay. So everybody's sitting there, he get the music low, and he says, actually, baby, 
I want to sing this to you. I didn't write this about you, but when I met you, I actually thought of this song. It was a song I've written before. So everybody's like, oh my God, this is so good. They're getting all hype, girl. They are getting all hype. And, and my friends, these messy bitches, is sitting there like, yes. And they know how I am. I always say this, okay, to men. If we together and you want to propose to me, don't do that in front of people unless you know I'm going to say yes. Because I will say no to your ass in front of people, okay? If you're not sure what my answer is going to be, you better do that shit in private. Don't fucking embarrass me, okay? Don't fucking embarrass me, okay? So he gets down on motherfucking one knee in front of me like he proposing. And he was not proposing because we'd only been together for a couple weeks at that point. So we was just dating, bitch. So he gets down on this one motherfucking knee right here. And I'm sitting here like this, like... Cause bitch, I was I was full. I was full. This is back when I used to drink, smoke. Bitch, I, a bitch was full. I was full. Okay. So he gets down there and I'm like this. <laughs> Just like fuck. And then this nigga starts singing this song. Part of my life. She starts singing this song. I'm trying to cut down the N-word. I am. I really am trying. But anyway, um, he said, he said. I don't even know the lyrics, but it was just like, baby, when I met you, you were the man of my dream. I swear to you, he had no rhythm. He had no time. He had no, I don't know what the fuck you call it. He had no motherfucking ear. He had no motherfucking ear. Like, he couldn't hear shit. He could not harmonize. He couldn't... I don't know the words, but the nigga couldn't do none of that shit. Okay? This shit was motherfucking terrible. Okay? And I'm sitting here watching my raggedy, bald-headed motherfucking friends. These fucking bitches. I love them to death. I was mad at them at that moment. They sitting there like this trying to keep a straight face like, mm, yes. And, you know, you always got that one friend egging him on like, yes, sing, sing. And I'm sitting there like... So I'm thinking this is going to be a quick little verse, bitch. So I try to pull my hand away, like, you know, because he, he's holding my hand. So I try to pull my hand away. I said, oh, thank you, baby. And trying to kiss him and get him to shut the fuck up. And he's, and he's like, he's like, I'm not done. And he keeps on going. Bitch, why is this song a whole motherfucking five minutes? Okay, bitch. And then I'm like, and so when he gets done, I'm like, thank you so much. Here goes my friend. The one bitch egging everybody on. Oh, my God. That sounds so good, friend. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sing another one for us. I want to knock that bitch in the side of the motherfucking head. Okay? He went on and serenaded me again. Okay? Serenaded me again. Yes, he was tone deaf. That's what it's called. Tone deaf. Okay? Girl, and he was fine as I don't know what, baby. I couldn't get on my back for him a day after that. I could not get on my back again for him after that. He was terrible. He was terrible. It was awful. I said, never again, never again. So I tell you girls this, okay? All right? If a man ever tells you that he can sing, if a man ever tells you that he can cook, two rules. Half his motherfucking ass, right? Half his motherfucking ass do it for you right there. Okay? And then tell him the truth. Okay? You say to him, if he can't cook for shit, what you say is you say, baby, I have to tell you, you know, I don't know, maybe it's just the kind of food I ate growing up. Let's say he seasons too much. You know, I don't know, like, I'm used to just a lighter kind of dish and everything like that. I don't know, my my pal is so weird. I'm, like, so restrictive about what I eat. It's so crazy. And, like, your food, I'm not saying it's not good. I'm just saying that for me, for whatever reason, it just doesn't appeal to me all the time. So why don't we share in the cooking duties? I can cook some time. You know, you can, you know, help. And, um, yeah, that would be really good. Yeah. He like, so you saying I can't cook? I'm not saying you can't cook. I'm just saying that, like, your style doesn't always appeal to my palate. That's all I'm saying, baby. But you know what does appeal to my palate? <laughs> and then show what appeals to your palate. Okay? You see what I'm saying? And if he can't sing, bitch, just get your shit and leave. Just, I'm sorry. I gotta go. He's like, where you going? I'm sorry. I just gotta go. That's what you gotta do. Now, if he can't sing, bitch, I don't know what to tell you, okay? He like, baby, how you like my song? Um, uh, I, 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 how you like my, 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 my voice? Um, 
Well, his name is Marcel. Let's call him Marcel. Well, Marcel, um, your voice. Let me ask you this, Marcel. Like, what inspired you to start singing at 35? Like, or have you been doing this for your whole life? Really? So you've been doing this your whole life. Wow. Like, and what does your family think about it? It's like anybody in your life, a hater, would they be like, they don't even like how you sing or something? Has anyone ever, you have any haters? Everybody got haters. You got a hater? And he'd be like, yeah, you know, it's so crazy because like my cousins be trying to tell me I can't sing. And they be trying to tell me that, but I know I can sing. For real. They be telling you that? Who else say that? Wow. So you got a lot of people, right? You got a lot of people who hate on your voice. Would you say your voice is like an acquired taste? You would say that? So it's unique. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, like for me... Like, you know, I have different styles of voices. You have more of a, um, um, like a more, um, melodic, you know, kind of, um, worldly beat kind of voice. Yeah, it's different. And so for me, like, I, I'm, I'm I was raised in the church, you know, so that's the kind of stuff I listen to. So like, if you don't sound like Karen Clark Shear, you know what I mean? If you don't sound like her... Everybody sounds terrible to me if you don't sound like her. So, you know, you don't sing like her. So, you ask me how you sound. Everybody sound bad if you're not like her. I'm not saying you sound bad, but I'm just saying, you know, that's not my style. You know, I don't, I don't know that my ear is refined enough to appreciate how you sing. And keep a straight face, bitch. Keep a straight face. Keep a straight face. That's what I have to do. Okay? Girl, just be done with his ass. That's a lot of work, ain't it? Okay? Oh, my Lord. A lot of y'all hiding money, okay? Wow. This one's a big one. I can't read that one out loud. Okay, I'm not going to be reading that one out loud. Let me go to my next one here. Um, I'm serious, y'all. What's my next secret? Damn, y'all really ain't coming with your men, huh? That's crazy. Wow. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. She says, the secret that she would never tell her man is... I know that he's into men. And here's how she feels about it. She says, and I don't care because I actually want to watch him a man. See, brothers, some of y'all are hiding your truth and your girl know that you like boys. She knows that you like the men. She knows it and she want to watch. Right? She want to watch. Okay, another woman wrote in here, she says her secret is that she secretly is attracted to gay men. And she watches gay porn. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Let me ask you this. I'm going to ask you this. I'm going to ask you this, okay? If you knew within your heart of hearts that your man was attracted to men also, he's also attracted to you, right? But he's attracted to men. He not cheat. You know he ain't cheating on you with man, woman, frog, no matter what. He not cheat, but you know he's attracted to men. Would you tell him that you're aware of it? How would you know? Maybe, I don't know, you've seen on his computer, you see the kind of stuff he look at in his private time. You know what I mean? Or maybe you see his head turn to certain kind of men. You know, y'all ain't stupid. Would you tell him? Would you tell him? Baby, you know, I, I kind of noticed. I noticed that you attracted the men. I know you attracted the men. She, um, she says, I'd be okay with it. So you would not tell him that you know. Okay, I'm, she, she said yes. Kimmy said yes. Lady Grace says yes. Y'all saying yes, yes, yes. Lisette said she would question them. Here's why I would bring it up. But you got to be careful how you bring it up. I would bring it up because secrets bring shame. And shames bring shameful behavior. When people are ashamed of something and they think they need to hide it, then they do poor behavior. That's what, I, that's what I know to be true, all right? So I would tell him so that it's no longer taboo, it's no longer beneath the surface. If you're a man and you know your woman's attracted to women, and she could be bisexual. It don't mean she's cheating on you, I'll bring it up, all right? And what I would say is this, I would just be real gentle about it. I would say, baby, we'd be out and about, you know, out of our having our ice cream on Sunday somewhere, I don't know where we at. And then he and we'd be out, and then he I'd be like, "Baby," he'd be like, "What? Well, you know I love you, right?" Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to be with nobody else but you. I swear to you. 
You so damn fine. I be just looking at you walking. Boosts him up real good, girl. Because you, you about to rock his world with his truth. So you need to make sure he knows that he's wanted and loved. Okay? You know I love you. You are amazing. In every way, and baby, I'm telling you this right now. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Why am I saying this? I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. I just want you to know. I feel like I feel like my king should always be reminded that he's royalty to me. Of course. And you kind of prime him up, prime him up. And you're like, baby, let me tell you this, okay? All right. Do you know I will be with you forever? He's like, yeah. Do you know it for sure? Yeah, I know it. Do you know it within your heart of hearts that I'm not going nowhere? Yeah, baby, damn, what's going on with you? Okay, I just... I just wanted to put that out there. Okay? Now, babe, if we're going to be together forever, do you want me to always tell you the truth? Yeah, what's going on? Nothing bad. It's nothing bad. Nothing bad is going on. But do you want me to share the truth with you if there's a truth I need to share with you? Yeah, baby, what's going on? Right? And this is how I bring it up to him. Baby. I know, and I want you to know that it's okay that you are attracted to more than just me. Don't say men just yet. What you mean, more than just you? Baby, now you know I know you, and, I, and, I, and I've always known you. And just because we don't talk about certain things don't mean that I don't know it and already, and I'm all right good with it because you're a good man. I know that you attracted some more than just me. What you mean, like other women or something like that? Women, men, whatever it may be, baby, I don't give a fuck. I'm just letting you know. We don't got to have no secrets in this house. We ain't got to have no shame in this house. I know it's uncomfortable you hearing what you hearing from me. I'm just letting you know. I'm good. We good. All right? What you want to order for dinner? Now, of course, that's going to blow his fucking world. Right? It's going to blow his fucking world. Right? Someone says so much biphobia in this comments. I know there's a lot of women out there who, can, who don't want to be a bi man, but there's a lot of y'all who are already with bi men because y'all write me about this shit all the fucking time. My man, I know my man like men, but I don't want to leave him because I love him, blah, blah, blah. So don't, so y'all act, act real motherfucking brand new in the comments thread publicly, but in my inbox, y'all be talking about what your man is doing. Okay? So let's, let's get that together. I'm trying to teach you how to open up your fucking mouth so y'all can put some shit on the table. Okay? Somebody said, get that strap. Just because he bisexual don't mean that he wants somebody up in his behind. You see what I'm saying? It don't mean he cheating either. Just like a man could be with a woman and she may also be attracted to women. That don't mean she cheating. You see what I'm saying? Just means that it is what it is. You see what I'm saying? You put it out there. Stop hiding it. I recommend you do this with your damn kids because some of y'all be writing something about, I know my son, I know my daughter is gay, but we don't want, I don't want to talk to them about it. You know, da 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 And I'm just like, Why? They scared to talk to you about it. And if you opened your fucking mouth and let them know you know and that you are all right, you know, you may actually be able to protect your relationship. Often when people feel like they got to hide something from you, it creates distance in that relationship where they pull away from you. They pull away from you. You see what I'm saying? And some of y'all know it's hard enough to find a good man. So then you find a good goddamn man. This, you find a good goddamn man. And you know, okay, maybe. His head turns elsewhere. What's the fucking difference between his head turning towards a dude and his head turning towards a woman if he ain't cheating on you with either of them? If he ain't embarrassing you, he ain't doing nothing crazy. And if he can get it up for you and he like you, what's the difference? Y'all hear me? I talk a lot about DL men who out here lying in these streets or who cheating on you for that matter. But people are allowed to have, to have whatever attractions they got. You see what I'm saying? Because you can fool yourself and live in this motherfucking make-believe land that you want to live in that, mm-mm, I can only be with a straight man and never with a bisexual man. I would never. Really? Okay, I hear your bias, but you do realize you have been with bisexual men and your attitude about this is what kept them from telling you the truth. You're the reason why you're being lied to right now. I'm not saying it's right. But I am saying this, if I let someone know that I have a bias against them, independent of their character, independent on the quality of their choice, I got a bias against what you may be attracted to, right? Even though you still are attracted to me and attracted to women, 
that person may not tell you the truth. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay? But that's what she said, okay? Let's see here. Ooh, damn, she don't like her in-laws. Okay. Am I wrong or am I right? She said, when I see my in-laws in public, I act like I don't see them. Damn, damn. I was just talking to Marco about that earlier. I said, when you get in a relationship, make sure that you date somebody who has a good relationship with your family, got a good relationship with their family as much as possible. You can't always control that, but damn, they need to at least have a good relationship with your family. You can't control their relationship with their family, but at least let them get along with your family. Let me see here. She said his is too small, but I love him. Good, girl, because that love going to have to carry you through. She said, I hooked up with his dad. We agreed to keep it a secret, but his dad ended up snitching. Damn! Ooh, girl. Let me see here. She said his sex was terrible, but his head game was the best I ever had. Well, yeah, it's got to be. I met a guy like that in college, girls. I remember that, okay? Girl, 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 girl. That stroke was terrible. It was terrible, okay? It was terrible. I asked, I was like, are you a bottom? Are you a bottom? No, I ain't no bottom. Then how are you this bad at this? I was probably like 19. He was much older than me. He was like almost 30. All right, I liked them season back then. I was like, how are you this bad? But girl, the way he used to munch, I'm going to say that much. All right, let me see here. This is another one. I was intentionally going after his brother, not him, but I ended up with him. Girl, has that not happened when you walk up to the group of friends and then you really want the fine one, but then the other one is the one who's more forward and up in your face, so you end up talking to him, and then the fine one who you really want end up backing off? Girl, that happened to me years ago. Two, it was a group of three friends, actually. One of them I actually liked. The other one was just more forward. Up in my face, up in my face, up in my face, up in my face. So I ended up talking to him. He was a nice guy, but because I ended up having a conversation with him, this bro code bullshit, his friend ended up thinking... Right? Ended up thinking, oh, no, nah, you with my homeboy because my homeboy like you. Later on, I was like, I was, someone was like, no, I'm not trying to get with your homeboy. I'm not trying to date him. I really like you. Like, I just happened to walk up your homeboy, happened to start talking to me more that night, and you wasn't talking. I, I know I like you, too, because we would always stare at each other and everything. I like you, too, but my, my homeboy like you already, and I, I can't do nothing about that. I said, what kind of weak-ass bro code bullshit is this? So anytime your homeboy look at somebody, you can't date them? If, if your homeboy is that fucking fragile and he's that fucking predatory, let's just call it a thing a thing. He go after everybody. And that's him. It's like a, it's like a dog pissing on something. He pissing on it because he knows if he do this, you not going to, you not, you going back off because you the fine friend. That's why I tell people, if you fine as fuck, don't be hanging around no insecure friends because they will try that kind of shit. Okay. I say women, don't be hanging around no insecure women. You need to hang out with gay men. In, but still be around straight men too. But you need to make sure that your that your your hangout buddy, you know what I mean. Your ace is a gay man. Straight men, your ace needs to be a man who's not insecure or a gay woman. I'm serious, okay? You need to put yourself in spaces with, with people who not gonna try to compete with you because that was some dick. That was some some dick shit, okay, girl. Shit. I'm still mad about the fact that I didn't get to be with his friend. And let's see here. Let me see here. I'm reading this. I'm reading these. Damn. I've kept a tattoo of my ex's name hidden from my partner while I go through laser hair, laser la um, tattoo removal. He literally did put his name on it. Literally. Okay. Her secret is that she's having sex with other women. Wow. Here's another one. A lot of y'all saying this one. She says, I'm pretty transparent, but if I had to hold anything back from him, it would be my real body count. Why do y'all feel the need to tell a man how many people y'all been with anyway? Here's how I answer the question if a man ever has the damn goal, unmitigated goal, to ask me how many people I done been with. He'd be like, baby, so uh, <laughs> where you learn all that from? I don't know, baby. I just, you inspire me. Lie. You, you just inspire me. Mm -hmm. You inspire me. Like, I don't know. You, you pull it out of me. No, experience pulls it out of me, baby. Okay, just experience. You inspire me. 
And then he'll be like, oh, dance. I'm just curious, you know, like, um, how many people you been with? I mean, I can tell you how many people I've been with. Baby, I don't even want to know. What you mean? I don't want to know. Why don't you want to know? It's not important to me. Turn it around on them. Like, I feel like how insecure would it be of me to want to know how many people you've been with? Like, that would be so insecure of me. Like, why, why would that matter to me? Like, because if you tell me one number that sounds too high for me, then you're going to feel judged if I think that's high. If you say a number that's too low, then you're going to feel pressured to be, because you're going to feel like I have more experience than you. Like, who wants that? Really? You don't want me to know that. Mm -mm. Come on, baby. Don't, that's not, I've been with enough men to know how to please you. And if you keep on asking, then you never tell them. Baby, I'm not telling you that. I'm not telling you that. It could be 20 years later. I'm not telling you that. 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 Damn. She said he doesn't know that he's not her first husband. She's been married before. Right? Damn. He said he would never tell his wife that he has lost thousands and thousands at the casino. He put thousands in cap. She would never tell her man that her ambition is worth more to her than any relationship. I mean, a lot of people feel that way, to be quite honest. Uh, let me see here. I'm going down reading more. Okay. She said, I would never tell him that I just cheated on him two days ago. Can we talk about it? So, personally, I don't think you should be cheating in the first place. I don't think you should be cheating at all. But... If you got the unmitigated gall to go out here and cheat on somebody, baby, baby. If it's a one-time thing, don't tell nobody. That's my opinion. Don't tell nobody. Y'all, I got hairy underarms right now. I feel like I should, should address this because I'm getting laser on my underarms at some point in time pretty soon. And I don't want that to, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got to wait to shave it until that day of, and I want it to be fresh. So, yeah, so I'm looking very natural these days. Um, so, yeah, mm -hmm. laser hair removal. But, yeah, I feel like, because I feel like it's selfish to tell your partner if you if it was a one-time thing. You should have been doing it no way. Because a lot of times people tell you, why would the man tell you? Or why would the woman tell you? They tell you because they feel so guilty about it that they want to get that guilt off their chest. So they come to you, baby, I got to tell something. You're like, what? Yeah, last weekend when I was away and blah, 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 my homeboys, I cheated with some girl at the club. That just destroys your world. It destroys your trust in him. It destroys everything. Everything. It destroys everything. And you're like, damn, I feel good that I got that off my chest. Meanwhile, now she traumatized. If she does stay with you, she'll never look at you the same way. Right? So my thing is, you should live with that fucking torture for yourself. If you cheated, let that shit eat you up inside. Let it eat you up. Now, if you're going to be having affairs and doing it multiple times, then you need to end the relationship. And here's nothing. Don't tell the person why. I know this is advice not that your mother wouldn't tell you, but I'm going to tell you right now. What sense does it fucking make to go to somebody and say, I want to break up with you? And they say, why? You say, because I want to go have sex with other people. What? Now you're breaking up with them and you're going to leave them completely brokenhearted and devastated. Why would you say that? When you break up with somebody, blame you every fucking time. Baby, I just don't feel like it's a good fit for me to be in this relationship. Why? I don't feel like I'm at, I'm not at a point in my life where I can offer to you as much as you can offer to me. What do you mean by that? Emotionally, I'm just not able to be as present as you are. It's okay. No, but it's not okay for me. I know this relationship isn't a good fit for me right now. It's, and you're perfect. You are amazing in every way. I love you. I, but I can't be with you. You lying. Is it really somebody? Is it somebody else? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. I just know that I'm not right for this relationship. And then walk the fuck out. Be done with that shit. You may say, but they want to know the truth. No, they don't. What they want is you to stay. And they're hoping that by knowing the truth, then that gives them the ammunition and the information they need to convince you to stay. Right? That's why they want to know the truth so they can then know what they're working with. Right? Don't tell them shit. That's selfish as fuck. And don't tell them it's, if, it's, if it's, well, I want to sleep with somebody else. What the fuck are they supposed to do about that? I want to be with somebody else because you're boring in bed. What is, what is he supposed to do about that? What is she supposed to do about that? 
I want to be with somebody else. Be, I, 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 when I go out and about, I always want to sleep with other women or other men. So now your spouse feels inferior. They're going to feel inferior because of the fact that you need to fucking go to therapy so you can work out your motherfucking sexual dysfunctions that you're acting out in a self-sabotaging fashion. You see what I'm saying with that? So my personal recommendations is you don't tell them shit. Mm -mm. Set them free. Let them be free. Don't tell them shit. Mm -mm. You cheated two days ago. He wondering why. Hold on. He wondering why. Um, he wondering why. Why when you came back from your girl's trip, you didn't want to be touched for a couple of days. Okay, girl. He wondering why. Oh, baby, I don't know. I just don't. Mm -mm. I'm not trying to tell y'all to lie. Because I don't believe in lying. What I believe in is not cheating in the first place. But if you that motherfucking trifling to go out there and keep on doing that shit. Yeah, I called you trifling. Okay? Then, baby, don't, be, don't, you don't do that. That's torture to put that on the other person. She said her secret that she ain't telling her man is that she got rich overnight. If you can't tell a nigga that you got money, then baby, he ain't the right one for you. Uh, let me see here. Oh, wow. She says, when I was in high school, we snuck the car my brother... Oh, hold on. I, I don't get that one. I, I don't understand that question. I don't understand that one. I tried to read it twice, too, but it didn't make sense to me. Here's her secret that every time he cheats on her, she cheats back on him. Y'all dysfunctional as fuck in that relationship. Oh, he fine as fuck, though. Oh, wow. He said this. He says, I guess he's gay. He says, I sometimes see men that I'm attracted to, but come home and take it out on him. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. You know what I'm talking about. I think that's kind of healthy. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Here's what I think. You in a relationship, that don't mean you got on horse blinders, but you don't see nothing else. Clearly, clearly, y'all know when you type stuff in this window, everybody can see it. So if you put your secrets in here, just know everybody else can see it too. All right? Clearly, if you're in a relationship, you don't have horse blinders, you're going to see other people. So to me, I personally do think that it's kind of healthy that if you out and about and you see somebody who you're attracted to, come home and take that out on your partner. Let it all out on them. They're like, damn, baby, who you? Wow. Better have him to come home and take it out on you than somebody else, right? Why would you? Why would you? He shouldn't be looking at nobody else. How is he not going to look at nobody else? You see other people that you attracted to. You see what I'm saying? That's healthy. Shoot. If y'all really, really healthy and in a secure attachment style, y'all could even talk about it, right? Y'all could even talk about it. Right? Somebody said, I wear horse blinders. Baby, even horse blinders, somebody could walk across the front of you. You could be scrolling Instagram and see something. I'm not talking about staring at the person and actively flirting with them. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying it at all. But what I am saying is you could be out and about and somebody just happens to walk by you. And it's like, damn, that person is fine. Don't stare. Don't engage. But that's your, that's your you know, that's your motivation for when you're at home with them. You know what I mean? Now, you have to be at a very elevated level within your relationships because I know some couples, where they'll talk about it. They be out and about, somebody walk by, and then, and then she say to him, baby, look at her ass. He be like, huh? Damn, she got a fat ass. Mm-hmm. I know you be looking at I know. I saw you looking at her. She do got a fat ass, though. <laughs> uh -huh. And he smack her ass, huh? Yeah, that's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take care of that one when I get home, though. It's fun. But you got to be at a very elevated stage of your relationship. Y'all not ready for that yet. Some of y'all not ready for that. Y'all be fighting, be locked up doing that, okay? He, she say some shit like that. He pop off, you pop up. Next thing y'all know, y'all y'all detained until Tuesday. Because y'all know it's a holiday weekend. So you're going to be detained until Tuesday. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, don't be doing that if you're not ready for it. Okay? Let me see here. All right? I'm just saying. Um... Ooh, she says, I'm in love with another man, and if he asked, I would marry him today. Yikes. Yikes. Wow, she says, I never told my partner that I'm actually gay. Well, that's kind of a tough one. Wow. Hold on, now this one's very confusing. She said, 
I slept with another man while I was dating the man I cheated with. I'm going to repeat that. I slept with another man while I was dating the man that I cheated with. That's a tongue tie. Help me to understand that because I'm not there yet. All right. Let me see here. A lot of y'all have been with a lot of women. I'm here to tell y'all that, okay? Y'all try to act like y'all all straight. Nah, a lot of y'all like coochie. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you that right now. A lot of y'all like coochie, too. Okay? Wow. Since I honestly think my secret is that I want to, is that I want to leave him, but I'm afraid um, because we've been together so long. Mm, I'm sorry, Pooh Bear. But here's the thing, the longer you wait, the longer y'all be together, and that's more years running behind you. And you know your youth ain't going to come back. Mm -hmm, those perky titties you got, that pretty smooth face you got. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that somebody ain't going to love you when your titties start to sag and your face start looking like a Sharpe dog. I'm not saying that, baby. But I am saying it's much easier to replace them when you do it early. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby. I'm just saying, if you don't want that man... Do him a favor and do yourself a favor and leave his ass, honey. Please leave his ass. That's, that's not right to him and not right to you. She said, I am not telling my secret here. I'm taking that shit to the grave. Mm -hmm. Oh, she said her secret is that she like to lick the plate when he ain't there. That's all right, baby. Well, let's see here. Uh, damn. Damn. She said the secret she got is that after she take her life insurance exam, she just joined my team. So after she take her life insurance exam, she leaving his ass. All right, girl, you better get your she money together. Wowzer. This was a good one. She says, she says, I was in a swinger lifestyle for years. Swinger meaning you sleeping with other people's partners, right? But everyone's knowingly participating. Knowing he couldn't handle it. Wow. So she not only was cheating on him, but she was actually swinging with multiple people. She was a part of a community of swingers. So she was getting her motherfucking life. Wow. Okay. Wow, baby. Do your, please do yourself a favor and leave that man. Because if it ever comes out, it's going to devastate him. Y'all saying save this. I'm putting it on YouTube. I'm putting it on YouTube. I'm putting it on YouTube. Just go over there. I'll be over there in a minute. Okay, wow. She said the secret that she don't want to tell me that he's a bad kisser. He licks her teeth. Oh, I remember this one man I met. He was so fine. He was so tall. He had muscles. And oh, baby, that print was something special. Girl, the way he used to kiss me. <sighs> That's how he's kissing. He would kiss his face. Lips should touch lips. Lips should touch lips. I don't care if you don't even have big lips. Lips should touch lips. You should not, your lips should not be touching the bottom of my nose and my chin. Ugh. Ugh. And you licking her teeth? Who would do that? That's nasty. That's nasty. Ugh. Oh, my God. All right. Somebody said they got an investment account that he don't know about. Keep it that way. Shit. All right. If you're trying to prepare to leave a man, or even if you ain't trying to leave him, even if you ain't trying to leave him, get yourself your account set up. Have the mailing address be a P.O. box, a virtual office. You know I'm pro that. Um, a girlfriend's house, somebody else's house. Don't let the mail come to the house. Okay. Somebody said that they have a huge crush on MJ Harris. If you got a crush on a bitch, let me know, honey, okay? All right? I'm five foot seven. If you could be taller, that'd be preferred. But, honey, I can take them short, too. Okay? All right? I don't need, I don't need somebody to, you know, come up and knock my walls down, honey, okay? But I do need you to fill me up. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Okay? Family-oriented. Mm-hmm. Sexually vibrant. Uh-huh. Sense of humor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. And knows how to keep his mouth closed. Okay? So I like some freaky things. And I don't need you to be telling nobody about it. All right? Let me stop. I feel like I'm not that crazy in the bedroom. I'm really not. I'm like old school. 
Baby, put me in my back, put me on my knees. That's all I need. Just, that's all I need, honey. I don't need all this, all this hoopla. I don't need all this stuff. People are like, I'm going to take everything off the kitchen countertops. And I'm going, and we going blah, blah, blah on the countertops. Why? I got granite countertops. It's going to hurt my back. Uh-uh. No, I got a perfectly good California king upstairs. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No, we can do the car. We can do the car. That's, that's cushion. I need cushion. I'm, honey, you know. Mother's a little voluptuous these days. Mother needs a little cushion beneath her. Okay? I'm going blah, 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 blah on the floor. I got hard wood. Mm -mm. No, I'm going to get a burn on my back or something. That's not going to be right for me. Uh -uh. No, no, no. I'm old school, honey. I'm old school. I don't need all that newness. I'm going to flip you upside down and turn you around and throw you up in the air like a pancake and blah. Why? Why you got to do that? Uh-uh. You can hit my spot just as easily without doing that. I don't need that. You don't have to. You saw that on a movie, didn't you? Yeah, just do that. Watch that on there. I don't care. I don't know. I don't want to participate in that arrangement. Uh-huh. Hey, Judy. I don't want to participate in that arrangement. I don't want to participate in you doing that to me. Okay? I like freaky things, but no. No. Not that. I'm not boring. I'm certainly not boring. I just don't want all that extra. Oh, thank you, Judy. She bought me a she bought me a badge. I saw you and I saw I saw your 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 lovely, your lovely, lovely, lovely wife. I saw y'all, y'all had um uh, who was it? Kiki Wyatt singing for y'all. It was beautiful. I shared the video, Ashley. Oh my lord, 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 lord. It was so beautiful. Um, but no, I'm serious, y'all. Yeah, they be watching that stuff. You got to tell your man, to tell your partner sometimes, baby, I don't care if you watch porn. I could care less about that. Just don't let it mess up your your um your stamina for me right but some of that stuff need to stay on there because they pay professionals they pay for that you see how when well how when he with that when he how when he went with that person on there how how it's just like throwing a pin down the hallway that's how it is you see how it's like throwing a pin down the hallway you see what i mean right thank you for all my supporters who are buying badges thank you so much s'mores and miss um Celise. i love you all thank you so much you see how it's like that on there? That's because she work in this profession. That's why she ain't got no walls, so she can take you doing all that. But I'm built different. I got walls. You see what I'm saying? So you can't do that to me. No, no, sir. No, sir. I got to tell these men's that. Okay? They be trying to do all that stuff. Because you know the thing is, is I'm only 5'7". Okay? Just thick enough. Just thick enough. You see what I'm saying? But they be seeing me thinking I'm pocket size. Ooh, I can throw you around. You can, but you shouldn't. Okay, because I do break. Okay, and I don't need to get thrown everywhere. No, 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 no. Trust me, my brother. I'm skilled enough, girls. Can you agree? We skilled enough. But, well, brother, you laying right there, I could take you to the moon. I could take you to the stars. You ain't even got to move. Okay? You like the, look like you're having a stroke. <laughs> look like you're having a stroke. You ain't even moving. Let, let, let me climb up here real fast. Hold on. Don't play with me. Okay? Don't play with me. Okay? Y'all, they think they need all this extra stuff. No, they don't need all that. They don't need all that. You don't need all that. Sit down and let mother do her job. Put that ponytail back. My virtual ponytail. Hold on. Hold on. Put the... Hold on. Don't play with me. Okay? Do not play with me. Okay? She said, she said, I'm only... She said, yeah, because I'm only five foot. Girl, then you closer to the goodies. That's all I'm saying. Us shorter ones, we, we right where we need to be. Okay, that's what I'm saying. All right? Let me see here. She said she would never tell him her celebrity crush. Why? You're not allowed to have a celebrity crush? Comment in here. Who your celebrity crush? Who your celebrity crush? Let's see here. Oh, she said she would never tell him that she's had sex with over 30 men. Okay. She said, I would never tell him that his sausage is too small for me. Literally, that's what she just said here. Wow. Wow. She says, I, I would never tell him that I'm still in contact with my exes. S. 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 Let me go back here. Hold on. I'm looking at this. Hold on. Wow. Wowzer. Let me see here. She would never tell him that she believes in polygamy, so she wants to be with multiple people. Don't you think that's something you should talk about? 
I'm just saying, you be miserable. If you want to have an open relationship, you should tell them. That way, if they're on the same page, they're good. And if they're not, then y'all can move on. Let me see who these um, crushes are. Tyree, Shamar Moore. I don't know who Brent Fayez is, but I'll look him up. Um, Jason Momoa. Yeah, he's cute. Um, Burna Boy, Trevor Noah, Tank, Christopher Williams, Tracy McGrady, Shamar Moore. See, he's on it twice. Let me see here. I'm reading these. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to put this on YouTube. It take a minute for it to load up on YouTube. If you like this, wait until next week. I'm going to post a new one asking for y'all secrets. You tell me them, honey. Of course, I'll never reveal your name. But I love doing this. Because you know why I love it? First of all, I thought Jasmine Sullivan had a great idea. But I said, I want to do it in this particular format. Because I realized there's so many of the things that we think of as our secrets. Other people feel the same way or have gone through the same things. And then it lets you feel like you're at the very least not alone. You may not want to tell the world all your business. But at least you know you're not by yourself. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. See you on YouTube in just a little bit. Bye.